ask Tom on Home Show. Rod from River Oaks has a question about persistent mold. Yeah, it's mostly in his bathroom, Tom, and uh, he sent us a picture of it up there on the ceiling. Um, Rod writes, this mold mm. keeps growing primarily around our AC vents and recessed lighting. Our, our AC system that services that area is brand new. He says, including a variable speed system to lower humidity. The picture is exasperated, and I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm quoting him here, exacer, exasperated, and I think yes. he means exasper, exacerbated, uh, because it means it's really whipped up good. Um, yes. Because they're out of the country for a month, he says. So once he wants to know, Tom, is, can you advise him on a solution to this problem? Yeah, it's an insulation problem. And I usually don't go down that road for the insulation. All those openings that he has there are leaking. Now, with his new air conditioning system, did something happen to where it's running colder now? And I think it is. And uh, uh, it's probably not running as much because it's it's so efficient, which is fine. But all those areas around there have leaked or have gaps going to the attic or the space on the cathedral ceilings and stuff. And this hot, humid air is just getting in there because there's no insulation against the back of it. And so it's growing. It's getting super cold. And then when the system turns off, the dirt collects and the mold starts to grow. It gets a little dampness on the registers because they're getting so cold. So it has a lot to do with that. Unfortunately or fortunately, it's an easy fix or it's an understandable fix, maybe not that easy. But all those light fixtures and, and the, the, the cans and everything, uh, the trim kits on those recessed lights, which are the cans, they need to come down and all those gaps need to be sealed. And if you can get to the backside, which would be the attic, you need to go up there and have more insulation put around those areas so it does not get so cold on that sheetrock. That sheetrock is just up against that hot, humid air in the attic, and it's causing a terrible problem. Those pictures are are rather uh, breathtaking to say the least, or stunning as they say on the news. Uh, but that would bother me a lot, but it's all around the edges. It's all around where that gap is to the attic or the crawl space or the, the little space, depending whether it's a mm -hmm. cathedral ceiling, an attic or whatever. And someone needs to get up there and re-insulate those areas and make sure all those gaps are sealed. Once that's done, um, and they get that done and cleaned it up, Tom. Is this where you come back with the pigmented shellac and paint it over it to seal it up so it doesn't it's, It looks back? bad enough in this case to do that. Yeah, I see some really, the areas he showed me, the pictures were, you know, they're very graphic. And those areas, I would, just so you go through all that work and then all of a sudden you get this little stain that comes through and has nothing to do with it happening again. It's just the original stain that'll bleed through paint. So I would clean it all up, get it all fixed, and then I would go back and pigment shellac all those areas and then go ahead, which means a whole ceiling and areas like that all need to be painted. It's hard just to touch up little areas. You're probably going to want to do, if there's a lot of recessed lights and stuff up there, just do the whole ceiling. Have someone like Rudy come in and paint it all at the end and get it done with his crews as quick as they can. And, and even the registers look like they could get, you could use new registers, get some plastic ones, or at least paint them. Mm -hmm. Or maybe pressure wash them before you put them back up for sure. You Probably to, still have to paint them. You take the paint off them. <laughs> yes, but you could do You want to get this. your question, go there, click Ask Tom. It's our website, homeshowradio.com. It takes you to this page. You click form or video, depending how you want to communicate with us. And you can send us pictures and uh, give us a lot of detail. And as you can see, it really helped us to have a picture because we could understand how bad it is. And we post a new one of these videos every day at homeshowradio.com, um, our Facebook page, and, of course, our YouTube channel. And Tom... Is, uh, wants to help you and wants to keep you safe. And that's a good case of where we, we just did. And we'd like to do that for you too.